Okay, hi there. Jeff here again with another in our series of Chains of Reasoning videos. We take a topic, this time the impact of high interest rates on consumer spending, and try to build a chain of reasoning, uh, because we know that gets you top marks in exams, and it also encourages you to, encourages you to get higher marks for evaluation. Analyse how a rise in interest rates might influence consumer spending on goods and services. Well, we know that interest rates are going up generally. Uh, this chart shows mortgage interest rates, the cost of servicing home loans in the UK. And for many years after the financial crisis, they were falling. They were on a downward trajectory. But look what's happened since the, the turn of 2022. Mortgage rates have been rising sharply. This chart only takes, uh, takes us up to September 2022. But the cost of home loans has gone up. And that's what, going to, that's what I'm going to focus on in this video, how interest rates can affect consumer spending through the housing market. So interest rates rise when the central bank, such as the Bank of England, tightens monetary policy, contractionary monetary policy by raising their policy rate. Nice bit of application there. The base rate is currently at 3% as I'm recording this, the highest level since 2008. Now, higher interest rates can operate through the housing market to cause a slowdown or perhaps even a fall in real consumer demand. For example, an increase in mortgage interest rates, that's the cost of servicing a home loan, will lead to a reduction in effective disposable income for home buyers on variable rate mortgages. Effective disposable income is income after tax and benefits, but also taking into account the cost of paying uh, the mortgage. So as a result, they will have less to spend and therefore that will cause a fall in consumption. And if higher mortgage rates lead to a fall in house prices, then a negative wealth effect might happen. Basically, this is a kind of confidence thing. If you think your property is going down in value, you're less likely to spend, perhaps more likely to save. Indeed, perhaps the value of property might fall below the, the, the debt you have on your mortgage, leading to a situation called negative equity. Overall, higher interest rates cause consumer spending to get squeezed. This is certainly what we're expecting to happen in the UK in 2023 because we're forecasting a recession. Now, a little bit of evaluation, of course. We've talked about variable rate mortgages, but many homeowners, perhaps 75, 80%, commit to a fixed interest mortgage for two, three, even five years. So they won't be immediately affected by a rise in interest rates, there will be a time lag before they have to go back to their mortgage broker, their lender, to renegotiate their deal. And they get a shock when they do that. And on the, on the other side, for savers, higher interest rates boost their monthly income. They probably won't get a great rate of interest, but if you have some money in the bank, you're probably going to get a better rate of interest, and that means your income might go up. And another group who could potentially benefit, also spenders in the economy, are first-time buyers. So if higher mortgage rates cause house prices to go down, that might improve affordability for first-time buyers. They might not have to take out such a big, big mortgage, perhaps leaving them with a little extra money to spend on other goods and services. So there we go. Uh, a quick look at the link between interest rates and consumer demand. If that's been useful, please press like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. Stay happy, stay positive, See you sometime soon.